In this video, we'll look at recovering access to a MetaMask wallet. If you've been locked out of your wallet or just lost access to it, then we'll try and get back in and recover the wallet and all of the assets in there. We can do this through either the password or the recovery phrase, or if you've lost both of those, there may still be a method of actually getting that information back, which we'll go through. I'll leave timestamps in the description for each of the different issues that you may be facing so you can skip ahead to the one that suits you the most. The first issue that you may be facing is that for some reason you can't access your MetaMask wallet. You've been locked out of it and you can't remember the password. Now this is a simple fix as long as you have your secret recovery phrase. So if you have those 12 words that you were supposed to write down when you set up the wallet, which look a little bit like this, then you can come and recover your wallet completely and you can just set a new password. The way that MetaMask works is that the secret recovery phrase is the main thing and actually the password is basically an encryption you input the password and then you can gain access to everything so as long as you have these 12 words then no problems so what we can do is go over to welcome back and instead of putting our password in we can come down here to forget password so click this and then we have the option to recover the wallet a few things to note here if you are currently using a different MetaMask wallet with a different seed phrase that you set up separately, inputting the seed phrase for the wallet that you want to recover right now will delete all of the information to the one that's currently being used. So you can only load and have on your browser one MetaMask wallet at a time with one seed phrase. So if you know the seed phrase of the wallet that you want to recover, simply come and put that, put that in here and it will recover the wallet of this seed phrase that you have and the new password and confirm password right here. Any MetaMask that you have currently on your system, all of that information will be deleted. So if that is the case, and you, you have access to that one that you, you know, want to replace at the moment, write down the seed phrase for that and all of the information before you go and actually recover uh, the wallet that you want to recover through this method. But if you have the seed phrase, it's absolutely no problem. Just come and put this in here, confirm password, and it will recover and load up the wallet as it was before. If you have just recovered a wallet with a seed phrase and in MetaMask beforehand, you had many different accounts. So that is many different wallet addresses and each of them having assets in there, they're not gonna show up when you recover the wallet immediately. So what you'll have to do is come to the right hand corner in the top and then click create account. Now you can see I've got a bunch of different accounts here. Some are hot wallets and some are hardware wallets. None of these are gonna be loaded when you recover your wallet. So if you click create account, it's actually not going to create a new account. It's going to reload the accounts that you had before if you had them. So if you had two hot wallet accounts, uh, in addition to the main one, press create account twice and the two different accounts that you created beforehand will be reloaded back in and all of the assets will still be there. If you had two created before and you press create account three times, then the third one is going to be that new account that it's going to create with a new wallet address for you. So no, they are not lost. You can just keep pressing create account and it will reload all of the accounts that you had before. If you've lost access to the seed phrase for your wallet, but you still remember the password that you were using to log into your MetaMask on your specific browser, you can still log in and get access to your recovery phrase again. The caveat here is that it needs to be the exact same wallet with the seed phrase that you were using. So if you've reloaded the wallet or, or deleted MetaMask, a lot of those files may have been deleted. And so using the password will not have anything to unlock and, de and, and uh, decrypt. So you have to have the same wallet with the same seed phrase still on the browser, hasn't been uninstalled. As long as that's the case, you can just very easily log in with your password. So I'll do that right here. And as you can see, it just logs in because I haven't changed or edited any of the MetaMask files or the extension on the Chrome browser. From here, we can easily access the seed phrase that the password just decrypted. Come up to the top right hand corner, then go to settings down here. And then on the left hand side, it should be security and privacy. So click that. And then it says reveal secret recovery phrase. This will be the one that the password is linked with and that just decrypted obviously the seed phrase to open MetaMask. So click that, that's the seed phrase. As long as you have the seed phrase in the future, you can uh, reload the wallet on any other device at any other time.
If you still have your recovery phrase, but for some reason it isn't working to reload the MetaMask wallet, then I'll leave this list of words down in the description. This is the BIP39 list of words that MetaMask will use to create your seed phrase. Maybe one of the words got damaged or it's uh, incomprehensible in some way. You can use this list uh, to essentially confirm that the words that you have are within the list. And if they aren't, then you can brute force the seed phrase by using some words that look similar or start with the same letter. If you still have your MetaMask password, but you don't have your secret recovery phrase, and for some reason the MetaMask application has either been deleted or something happened to the computer, there may still be a way of gaining access to your secret recovery phrase. And this is from the MetaMask official store uh, site here, which I will link in the description to the help pages here. But as long as you have some of the MetaMask files still, you might be able to gain access to them with your password uh, in order to get your secret recovery phrase back. What you need to happen here is that the MetaMask files still need to be in your computer. And if you deleted the app, that might not be the case. However, if you run a system backup regularly, for example, on Mac computers, you can use Time Machine on PCs. I'm sure there's obviously ways to do that as well. Then those files may still be there and you can try and access them with uh, the password that you have to access your MetaMask account. You can check if the MetaMask files are still in your computer. And if they are, then you can access them with what MetaMask call their vault decryptor. And you can access the files with the password. So what you can do is go to the MetaMask official site, which I will link below, click this vault decryptor. This takes you through to their service right here. Now, what you have to do is click database backup and then choose a file. You can also download this for your computer if you want and use it offline if you're worried about that. And also just make sure you're going to the real MetaMask site because obviously with all of these things, there will be fake sites and phishing sites out there that will try and get your information. So just make sure you're going to the correct site, metamask.io. Uh, so what we need to do here is database backup and choose file. For Mac users, just go to Spotlight search and type in library, bring up your main library file, and then just go through the folders as it says. So it's application support here, and then find Google and then Chrome and so on. You can check that those files are there uh, before actually using the MetaMask Vault Decryptor. And of course, if you've got backups as well, check them because the files may be there. And if they are, you can use the password to decrypt them. If the files are in your system, then we can use Vault Decryptor to gain access to them, but we do need the password. So database backup, choose file, go through to library, applications, Google Chrome extension, where it was, and then you can open that file right here. The password is needed, and that is the one that you use to log into your MetaMask account. So you need to put that in because that will decrypt the seed phrase. If you know that password, press decrypt, and that will just uh, decrypt the seed phrase for you, and then you can come and load your MetaMask wallet from there. Those are the simple ways to gain access back to your MetaMask, as long as you have either the recovery phrase or the password. Now, if you've lost both of those things, you really are in trouble because the whole point of a crypto wallet is to not give access to anyone unless they have the secret recovery phrase. However, if you know parts of either your phrase or your password, you may be able to gain access by brute forcing them open. Now, BTC Recover is something that's recommended by MetaMask officially on their help websites. And what this does is try to take as much information from either your password or your, or your passphrase as possible, and then try many different variations of that to try and brute force access. Uh, so the way this works is that you give the BTC Recover tool some information, uh, either about your password or passphrase as much as you can, and then it will, tie, it will try to um, come up with variations of that to try and brute force entry. Now, this may or may not work. This is an open source tool, but the downside of this is that it does take some knowledge of coding because you have to code the instructions right here. Uh, again, that's beyond the scope of this video, but I'll link it in the description if you do want to have a look to see if it may help you or not. I'll leave links to the MetaMask official help pages down in the description because they might have more information for you. Good luck with recovering your wallet. I'm James, it's Money DG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.